everyone, and welcome to our Key Stage 1 show of There's a Sunflower in My Supper. The children have been working so hard. All of the Year 1s and Year 2s have been learning lines, practicing songs, and coming together to make this show for you. As well as making this a fun experience for the children, of course, we wanted to ensure that they are all safe. So we have maintained bubbles throughout this process. We have ensured that the children are socially distancing and wearing masks wherever possible. We really hope that you enjoy watching our show as much as we have enjoyed making it for you. Thank you. There was a cow and her name was Daisy. She lived with all her cow friends and they all got along splendidly. It was called Grassy Hill. Grassy Hill's the best! Home sweet home! Now Daisy was a very happy cow, but Lady she began to wonder whether there was more life than just grass. For example, what they had for breakfast. Grass! What they had for lunch. Uh, grass! What did they have for supper? Chocolate pudding! Chocolate pudding! No, not really. It was grass. Every Monday morning, Daisy went to market to trade the cow's milk for seeds to grow more. Can you guess? Grass! Yummy, scrummy grass. <coughs> Daisy had a secret though. Daisy had a dream. One day, she wanted to grow something more than grass. She wanted to grow flowers and plants and trees and fruits and vegetables and everything. She wanted to grow a garden all of her own. But she knew it could only ever be make-believe. Her fellow cows would never approve, and nor would Mr. Bull, who was in charge. And you didn't want to make Mr. Bull angry.
for it. Be good in market, Daisy. Do not buy magic bee. Magic means a bad. We don't want the other incident. No, they didn't want another magic pet bee dog growing at the top of their hill like the last time. That the giant on top of it had made Mr. Boo very grumpy. Giant where? Calm down, Mr. Boo. No giants today. So Daisy went off to the local market carrying her pail of milk. Yeah, okay. ah. Guys, Pastry, milk, baby cat, or the zero way. Then market this way. tempted by everything around her. Details of vegetable seeds, root seeds, flower seeds, large ones, small ones, teeny tiny ones, fast growing ones, slow growing ones, ones for formal gardens, informal gardens, cottage gardens, and grassy hill gardens. And grass, very popular is grass. Oh, grassy, thank you. Breathing a sign of relief, Daisy left the market. She was very pleased with herself 
for having been so good that press really had come tempting. It would have been a lovely addition to her garden, or rather her make-believe garden. It was then that it happened. Oh, what's this? There upon the ground was a seed, not a grass seed, but a very different type of seed that Daisy had never seen before. Daisy stopped for a minute and had a little think. Would it be wrong to give it back to Grassy Hill and plant it? But the other cow said not to buy any onion trees. But they hadn't said anything about finding any unusual seeds, had they? It was meant to be. As soon as she, she caught back home to Grassy Hill, Daisy found a quiet spot of planted mustard seeds. It would be her little secret. So that the seed would remain hidden. She covered it up with an empty milk pail. Now all she had to do was wait. Time passed. And the grass on Grassy Hill grew and grew. Every morning, Daisy woke at dawn and rushed to see whether her seed had grown. But every morning, she was disappointed. <gasps> then one evening, the wise old owl of the forest came by. Why are you sad, Daisy Cow? Daisy told him everything. Owl nodded sagely. He, he was something of an expert of everything, especially gardening. Daisy showed him where she had planted them three seeds. Still nothing grew from the ground. No wonder! Wise old owl ruffled his feathers, adjusted his spectacles and smiled. Time for a gardening lesson. To germinate, the seed needed not only to be kind of warm soil, but did need it. Water. Sunlight too. Daisy told us, for an hour at once, she no longer hid the little seed. In darkness, but water is every day. Once again, she waited patiently. Then one morning, wow! A little green shoot had burst from the ground. Every night, Daisy slept by her secret plant.
then uh, one uh, uh, in the morning it it had grown some more before long it was getting quite big panic station Slightly prettier than grass. Only slightly. Suddenly, there lots of new and exciting visitors to Grassy Hill, who came to say hello to Sunflower. Stop waiting for the lion to appear. He's scared of me. Crucially, the cow got used to the sunflower and admitted admit that it was good to have it growing on a grassy hill. It's really 
delicious the place up, and it's good for the environment. Even Mr. Bull was one over in the end. It brings me a tear to my eye. Oh, what's this? The first autumn leaf. <laughs> Daisy was very confused. Sunflower was wilting. They decided to call the doctor. Call for Doctor Cow. Call for Doctor Cow. Sunflower told them that she's not going. Not really. She'll leave them all something to remember her by. Don't worry. Soon you'll see, Daisy. Before long, it was big again. Sunflower left seed. That's a nut of sunflower seed. Thank you, sunflower. Your seeds are yummy. They have us out. Thank you, family. During the long cold winter. And thank you for all the nectar and pollen you gave us. Where is all the honey today? And follow it with the seed. It have on go. It will be for the sunflower. The dancer, or the inheritance, or blessing. Sunflowers! Lots of lovely sunflowers! So that year, and all the years that follow, they see do more sunflowers, but not only sunflowers, but lots of other green things too, until she and all her cow friends had a very special garden of their own, full of flower, tree, vegetable, and chips, but most importantly, gas. Lots of gas! 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 Lots